Hey guys, I'm back here with Heidi West, and she's here to talk about outdoor cinema with uh, the North Missoula, Missoula Community King. Development yes. Corporation. So thanks for mm -hmm. letting me be on the show. Um, I work for the North Missoula Community Development Corporation, and we have a couple of cool activities going on this summer, one of which is our, it's our 15th year of having the Missoula Outdoor Cinema. And so to celebrate this year, we're showing 15 movies, which means that part of the summer, we have a Friday night and a Saturday night uh, movie show showing, and our first one is on July 8th. Um, it's going to be Stand By Me, but the first movie that I'm really excited about is July 15th, which is the Creature of the um, Creature of the Black Lagoon, and it's in 3D, and we ordered a bunch of those fun red and blue glasses to make the, you know, movie come alive <laughs> in. So it's going to be in 3D? 3D. And is it a black and white movie? You know, I don't know. I've never seen it. I so. think it, they've, been, they've remade that movie half a dozen times. So I, it's the 3D <laughs> version. That's all I know. Um, and some other things we have going on this summer is that we have a drop-in program um, all summer long that runs Monday through Thursday at the in the same space that is the uh, Burn Street Bistro during, you know, like lunch and breakfast right. hours. Um, and so that uh, is from 3 to 6, Monday through Thursday, and it has, it's also a dinner site um, in partnership with the Missoula Food Bank. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to highlight real quick is that we have a community dinner coming up that's free and open to the public. Um, and it's on the 25th, Sunday the 25th from 6 to 8. Um, and the whole point of this is for us to all get together and get to know our neighbors and build community um, just to make Missoula stay the amazing place it is cool. so and you guys uh so the outdoor cinema thing is kind of like your trademark you kind of like your thing to get people to come out and join you guys uh it's every pretty much every saturday night yeah it runs from july through the first weekend in september and it's definitely i think the thing that we're most known for in missoula um what we what our core uh thing is that we do is actually develop permanently affordable housing. Um, so we have a community land trust and we have 47 units in that land trust that mm -hmm. are mostly on Missoula's north side. They're kind of between. Yes, I was on the bus tour. Yeah, And Russell. you have a bunch of brand new houses there. Oh no, oh, not those, those ones? Those are not those. So ours are between Russell and Madison Street. Um, we have some right by the Russell Street Bridge, which is um, Clark Fork Commons, and right. we have well, we have all the ones right by Bird Street Bistro, since people know where that space. And is. this is a and this event is also kind of like this is uh, kind of like a gathering event, but it's uh, also a way to get out information about absolutely. people. Be like, hey guys, you know we also have all these uh, community building activities. Right programs to help anybody who needs the help when they need it. Yes, and we also have great community partners that use that opportunity to get out the word about them, and MCAT is one of them. Mm -hmm. So you guys are one of our sponsors and have been for many years. Um, and another thing, you know, Missoula in Motion, for example, uses our um, sponsorship reel as an opportunity to educate people about how to share the road with bikes and cars and proper bike etiquette and so it's a great tool to not only you know build community and hang out with your neighbors and have a free thing to do on a Saturday night um, but also to you know get public education and um, opportunities out there so and I'm yeah. showing the website as well so yeah um, people can go on to <laughs> NMCDC dot org yeah. to find out more information and what's a good place they can navigate through like is there like anything particular that you want to kind of show um I, obviously the the one that probably is most relevant right now is that lineup um for the movies the summer um and then there's also under programs you can also look up the kids club um for example this thursday the zach is coming and they're gonna do um so it's yeah if you go down scroll down um, one more oh. go up one. There yeah. you go. Oh, Kids Club. That's right. There it is. So Burn Street Kids Club. Um, we have a schedule up uh, for that as well. And you can go come by anytime. Just sign a little bit of paperwork before you leave your kids. So and, this is uh, for like any time <laughs> for any kids? Any kids. We uh, Nice little activity for them, for yes. them, for them to do when uh, the parents are just like, uh, don't you have you school today? I was like, uh, can you guys just not be Parents here? Parents <laughs> need mental breaks, yeah. uh, you know, and so this is a great uh, place. We have 
two amazing staff um, that have been just great. And then we also have some additional programs. So they, they'll do crafts with your kids. So um, set up the dinner. They'll have those activities. And then on top of that, we have additional programs that come in. So the Roxy was here la last week. Cool. Zach is coming in this week. They come back several times during the summer. Animal Wonders was yesterday. Aww. So that one's over. Um, but there's lots of things going on. We have some field trips planned to the Moon Randolph Homestead. Wow. And Parks and Rec helps us out with that. Um, they provide transportation. They're amazing. Um, and then we also have um, you know a big party at the end of the year. Great. Or end of the summer that anyone can come to. So, so once again, um, you're, all movies basically start are going to be starting in July, yep. and they happen at sundown, or maybe a little bit after sundown. A little bit after sundown, as soon as it gets dark enough for us to see the screen. And what school is it at? So, oh, good. <laughs> That's important. It's at Whittier School, which is on the north side, um, and is also known as Head Start. So. Cool. Yeah. So, and if people want to find more information, they can go to? I would just go to the website or our Facebook page. Um, the website has everything, you know, if you're on Facebook, it's easy enough to search for the North Missoula Community Development Corporation, um, or you can just go to the nmcdc.org. Cool. And all the information is on both places. So. Well, thanks, Heidi. Thanks for having me.